Hi everybody, just a quick video today about how you can find, download and extract the game files for DayZ. Now recently on console we've had access to a JSON file which enables us to play around with the gas um, and you may well have seen Don's amazing video where he changes the colour of the gas and does all sorts of wonderful things. And into in that video and in lots of other modding videos as well they'll refer to looking into the game files and if like me you're probably going all right yeah i can do that and you've gone to where the daisy files are on your computer and you've clicked on them and you've started looking through them and you can't find any of these files that they refer to in these videos and tutorials that's because they're not there you actually need an extra program called daisy tools to extract these files so you can start to look at them and the way that you do that is from within Steam. So you've got to have a copy of Steam running on your local PC um, and um, you've got to have purchased a copy of DayZ. And then what you want to do is you want to go to your library and just make sure that in, you have games and tools ticked. And then when you scroll down, you'll see DayZ tools. You probably haven't got it installed at the moment. So just click on the install button. It'll download. It's not particularly, not particularly big. And then you just fire it up. And you want to click on play daisy tools so you click on that and it'll fire it up and then what you want need what you need to do is you need to go into the settings and you want to unclick untick the two boxes that say default because they might be wrong and then the first one we're going to adjust is this this one lower down that says path to the game directory so what we're going to do is we're going to point daisy tools where uh, where the game daisy is on our hard drive um, and if you're not sure where it is, it tends to be like local disk C within your program file, Steam, Steam apps, common, you know, with an address, something like that. There we can see Daisy there. And so what you do is you would just click on the folder icon, um, use a rather basic browser, but find where D Daisy and just select it and say OK. Then it says, well, where, where, do you, where do you want these game files? What, what's your project drive going to be? What's your P drive going to? What's your project drive going to be? So what you want to do is you want to make one. So what I did in the same folder where I have my day copy of Daisy and I have my Daisy server, Daisy experimental, I just created a folder called P drive. So I created a new file called it P drive, and then um, within Daisy settings, click on the little icon and just tell it. Yeah, that's the that's my project drive there. That's my P drive. And then you'll say apply, and it'll probably say restart it. So it'll close down, and you'll probably have to go back to the Steam and, and restart it. And when it gets there, and, and it fires up again, you want to go to Tools, and you want to go to Extract Game Data. That's what you want. So you click on Extract Game Data, and it will ask you it will give you a warning and say do you want to do do all this and you can just see it says there's the game directory and that's where i'm going to put these files now i'm going to, i've already done it so i'm not going to bother because it takes it about 10 minutes to do and then it will then extract the game files and what you can then do is then you go into your p drive or whatever you decide to call it and you can see here say within the graphics we've then got all these files that we can then start to look at what we're very much interested in for console are the, are the names of these files. You know, smoke m7a2white.ptc. You know, and we can start throwing these into the JSON files um, just to see, you know, just to see what they might do. Now, ultimately, as we get access to more um, files within Daisy, especially on console, it's going to be very interesting what we can do. But I think there's going to be some really exciting stuff we can do with those. Uh, do with these json files and maybe if you're getting into modding on pc as well again having the game files here is going to be a way that you can access them very easily on your local pc now i'm not dead sure about this next bit but i'm pretty sure what will happen is whenever there's a big update for the game say when we go from 114 to 115 etc you're going to have to extract the game files again because the devs will probably introduce new um textures um, new guns you know new, new new effects into the game so you have to extract them that way to get the new files so that you can then play around with them but there we go hopefully that's useful if it has been hit like if you've got any other questions put them in uh, below the video and i'll uh, see you all again soon thank you very much